artificial intelligence will change the way that you market your law firm forever. Everything from creating videos to creating blog posts to writing social media posts is about to change. And the crazy part is we're just scratching the surface of what AI can do in the future. You need to pay attention because if you don't keep up now, you're going to fall behind. And if you fall behind, you're gonna be in big trouble. In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the fastest growing AI tools that you can use to create videos, create blog posts, create social media posts, and so much more so that you can get more clients for your law firm and you can supercharge your productivity seemingly overnight. So this is a website called ChatGPT, and the way you can sign up for this completely free is by going to chat.openai.com. Just follow the instructions and you'll be able to sign up. Now, ChatGPT is amazing because it is the first artificial intelligence platform that you can actually use conversationally, which means that it is now accessible to everybody. So what's cool about ChatGPT is it allows you to use artificial intelligence to create content for your law firm. Now, I wouldn't suggest just using ChatGPT to just write you a blog post and just copy and paste that blog post onto your website, but there's a lot of really cool things that you can do to maximize your productivity so that you can create some really, really cool content that then you can use for videos, you can use for blog posts, you can use for social media. Now, the thing you have to understand about ChatGPT is the better the input that you give it, the better the output it's going to give to you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five different ways that I use ChatGPT, and I'm gonna show you the commands and the input that I put in that will take you from not really having anything from starting to scratch to having uh, really, really great content and really great video ideas and really great blog posts. One really cool thing you can do with ChatGPT is you can use it to generate video ideas. And the reason that I love this is because I'll talk to clients, lawyers all the time, and they say, I wanna create videos, but I don't know exactly what I should create videos on. The cool thing is, and the way that I like using ChatGPT is I like using it to basically spark some creativity. So I'll ask it a question, I'll see what it gives me, and then that will typically spark some different directions. So let's say we are a family law attorney um, and we wanna get some video ideas. So let's type video topic ideas for a family law attorney and see what comes up. Okay, so you can see this gave us 10 really good topics for a family law attorney, but these are kind of generic. But what's cool about this is that you can use these as ideas to go into deeper topics. So for example, let's say you uh, read through these and you say, okay, cool, I'd like to do some videos on child custody, right? So now you can say, create more video topics about child custody. Now you can see this gave us 10 more video topics that are great topics for child custody, child custody evaluations, what to expect, parental alienation, relocation with children, creating a healthy co-parenting relationship. These are all great topics that you can create videos on, but on top of that, you can go even deeper into each one of these topics, which is absolutely amazing. So if you do this, you can just keep creating an endless number of, of video topics that you can then use to promote your law firm. And the cool thing about this is these are all things that most of the time you're probably not gonna think of. And it's not, don't, don't feel bad about that. I do this all the time. There's tons of marketing content that I go into here and I'll uh, these will spark an idea and I'll be like, oh, I didn't even think about creating a video on that topic. So this is a great way just to kind of get those mental juices flowing. Now, another way that I like to use this service to create video topic ideas is to use the command what is something people don't know about? So for example, let's type in what is something most people don't know about DUI checkpoints, if you're a DUI attorney. So for example, you can see it pulled up. They're not always legal in every state. Uh, they're not always effective at catching drunk drivers. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. Uh, you can challenge the legality of a checkpoint. So there's a lot of different things and a lot of different ways that you could actually go into this topic. And this is all just on one little area of DUI law, if you're a DUI attorney, DUI checkpoints. All right, what is something people don't know about breathalyzer tests? So now you can create something that's talking about things that people don't know about breathalyzer tests. They're not always accurate. They can be challenged in court. Uh, you have the right to refuse a breathalyzer test, but obviously you might lose your license. So there's lots of really cool things that you can talk about and lots of really interesting things that people are gonna be interested in. And you can use this, this service to come up and really jog your memory. The second thing that you can do with chat GPT and artificial intelligence is you can 
make things easier to understand. Now, one of the complaints that I have with most of my lawyer clients is that you talk like lawyers. The problem is, is that lawyers, uh, not only do you have a high school degree, you also have a college degree, and then you have a uh, postgraduate degree, and then you pass the bar exam, right? So your level of intelligence is up here, right? But the average American reads at an eighth grade level. So the problem is that when you're speaking here and the most average American comprehends here or even lower, then there's a there's a, a separation and you have to remember a confused mind always says no. So if you're speaking in these really big fancy terms to someone who has an eighth grade reading level, then they're gonna get confused and they're gonna move on. So one of the things that I love doing with, with chat GPT is I love using it to explain things much easier. For example, let's say you're an estate planning attorney. You can say ELI5. That means explain it like I'm five. Difference between a will and a trust uh, using an analogy. So this is absolutely amazing. If you're going to create a video about the difference between a will and a trust, you could go in here and you can look uh, and it makes it very simple. And then here's an example using an analogy. Imagine you have a box of toys and you want to give them to your children after you die. You could write a will that says, I leave my box of toys to my children. This is like a will. Alternatively, you could put the toys in a box and give it to a friend who will give the toys. Like this is explaining the difference using a very simple analogy. So you can do this for anything and you can make your content very, very easy to understand. And the easier it is to understand, then the more likely it's going to resonate with the people that are watching the video. Now, the next thing you can do with chat GPT is you can use it to create video titles that are actually going to get people to click. One of the most difficult things about creating content is getting people to actually watch it. If you create the best video in the world, but you got a really boring title, nobody's going to watch it. So one of the things that I like doing is I like using chat GPT to create really juicy, really sexy titles that are going to get people's attention and make them watch the video. So let's see what that command looks like. Uh, for the topic of forming an LLC. How about that? Okay, so as you can see, this kicked back five video titles about why you need an LLC. So if you're a business lawyer, you can create a video on uh, why you need an LLC. Now, what's cool about this is, again, you can take the ideas here and dive deeper into them. And sometimes I like actually doing the opposite because fear is actually pretty good at selling. For example, you have the top five benefits of starting an LLC. So what if we did, uh, what if we dove into that a little bit uh, deeper and said, what are some video title ideas on the risks of running a business without an LLC? So this is the opposite benefit versus risk. Okay, cool. So now we have uh, five titles that are all about the risks of operating without an LLC. Now, one that I see there is protect your business and your personal assets, why you need an LLC. So let's do this. Let's dive into that one a little bit more deeply. So as you can see, it's kicking back more titles. Now, these aren't my favorite topics here, but if you keep asking questions, then you're going to continue to get really, really good answers and you're gonna get really good output. Now, the fourth way that I love using chat GPT to create content is using existing content and repurposing that content. So let me show you what we're talking about here. I'm gonna to go to my YouTube channel. And if you go to my YouTube channel, you will see I've got lots of videos, but let's just take this first video right here. This is eight mistakes most law firms make. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the URL here and then we're gonna to go to another website called youtubetranscript.com. All this does is this gives you the transcript of a YouTube video. So as you can see, this is the entire transcript right here. Now, what's really cool about this is you can grab this, let's grab the entire thing here. You can copy it, bring it into, uh, you can bring it into chat GPT and you can say, turn this, video into a blog post. And then you paste, you see, I just pasted the transcript in there. Turn this video, actually I'll say turn this video script into a blog post. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Okay, so as you can see, it actually wrote an entire blog post based on this entire thing. I didn't give it anything other than the script and it actually created a blog post 
Uh, and what's funny is about this is eight mistakes that law firms make with their marketing. And you can see it gets all eight mistakes. It's absolutely incredible. And what's cool is that if you're not happy with this, you can one, just take this content and then make some tweaks to it and, and then it's done. Or you can ask it to create another blog post and you can say, make it a funny blog post. You can do all kinds of stuff like that that will allow you to continue using the script. The caveat with this YouTube transcript is that the video has to have been up for a little while. I don't know what the exact time is, but the video has to be up for a little while for a transcript to automatically be generated by YouTube. There's a chance that if you just upload a video today, that you're not gonna have this transcript. Well, in this instance, what I like doing is I like using software called otter.ai. Otter.ai, which I have pulled up on the screen here, is real-time transcription. So basically all you do is you hit the blue little microphone in the corner there and it will start going. And now what it's doing is recording everything that I say in real time, which is really, really cool and really helpful. So you can do this one of two ways. If you record a video, you can play back the video and you can literally just put the microphone of your iPhone with otter.ai running on it. Or if you don't even have a video, what you can do is you can just talk and let otter.ai record your voice and just give it a bunch of information and then you can export this information and you can dump it right into chat GPT and use that information to create your content and your blog posts. Now, the last thing that I like doing with this is I like taking this content and then I like using chat GPT to create social media posts for me that will get people's attention. You have this blog post and then you can ask chat GPT to give you some exciting and interesting social media posts. Let's say we're gonna do a Facebook post. You can say, create a 75 word uh, Facebook post promoting the article above. Are you making any of these eight mistakes marketing as a lawyer? Find out information, this article by Andrew Stickle. This is okay. Uh, let's see if we can do a little better. Add some clickbait to the Facebook post. There we go. Now this is getting a little better. You won't believe the eight marketing mistakes that most lawyers are making. This is a pretty decent one. So now we can say, turn it into a tweet. And look, it even gives you the, the hashtags, right? Let's say create a clickbait tweet promoting the article. The eight marketing mistakes that could be ruining your law firm, but no one is talking about until now. Don't miss this game-changing article by Andrew Stickle. Click to learn how to fix these mistakes and grow your practice. Hashtag law firm marketing, hashtag lawyer advice. That's a great tweet. Hopefully you can see how you can use this incredible software, ChatGPT, to really optimize your law firm. Now, it's not going to replace you, but it's going to supercharge you. It's going to allow you to do more. It's going to allow you to get better results, and it's going to give you a lot more ideas and expand your brainstorming activity. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I really hope you enjoy this video and I will see you on the next video.